Hello my soccer universe. Given the range of Champions League seasons that I'm looking into in this video, it was clear that I'm gonna wear this jersey, still one of my favorites, and it also necessitated the first change to my nice wall back there. The big missing jersey, I should have put that one in the original uh, the picture. That PSG jersey I put now instead of the Milan jersey. Um, yeah, the story this is still one of my favorite away jerseys for Milan. And yeah, uh, at least the first half of this video, from a Milan perspective, I can say this is, it should be called Suicide and Redemption. Uh, I think there's no other title that's more appropriate than that. But we'll get to that. Uh, I think those were Champions League seasons that I followed, you know, the more or less title, but it was the first time also that I finally could see Champions League matches in America. So yeah, uh, it was a time where I was in America, but they were usually played in the afternoon. And sometimes often I could manage to watch. Not always though, not always though, as the teaching assignments or class assignments were not always as favorable to Champions League watching, but I always did my best as a true fan. Um, I will this time try my best to hold back on the history, to not tell as many results. I know I have so much to tell and I need to make a special series. I'm thinking I could do a season by season history of the Champions League or the European Cup um, as good as I can. I can also do one on uh, the great teams of the Champions League slash European Cup. That would be an, uh, that, that, that is something I definitely would like to do. And you know, as this as this coronavirus crisis progresses, I can definitely see myself doing some of that stuff for sure. I just want to keep it varied. Not that I do the same thing over and over again, and I'm still want to keep it one video a day because I have many other things to do. We were today joking. I have four jobs at the moment: family, my real day job, then a second uh, job that I do on the side, and this channel. So I'm not gonna get bored. But let's look into that and we'll start with the 04-05 season, although that one should have been cancelled. <laughs> nah. uh, all joking aside, um, I think the game for that one is the final. Um, as much as I hate to say it, the game that you have to watch, if there's only one game, you have to watch that final. And there were so many outstanding moments in that one. It's widely considered one of the greatest finals. It's just a final that I would like to forget. Uh, but everything else in that was really worth watching. Um, even if I look at the um, um, knockout stage, there were quite some interesting ones. Uh, there was a Real Madrid Juventus uh, game, uh, games in the um, round of 16, I'm looking Barcelona, Chelsea, who have been meeting frequently. This was uh, one of the first ones that they were uh, meeting uh, there. Uh, kind of started the whole Mourinho, um, Mourinho Barcelona rivalry. Um, there's also Chelsea Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals. I think those were really interesting and good games. Um, a United Milan affair that was a lot tighter than what the results get. Then I think if you want to see some scandal, watch uh, Inter Milan in the quarterfinals. That was a good. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the semifinals. I think there was a lot of drama between Milan and PSV. Uh, Chelsea, Liverpool, to be honest, was more defensive affair, so not all that great. But I do remember uh, in the quarters Liverpool Juventus as a game that yeah had kind of ev ev everything. I remember this was probably the first one that I was watching uh, in in America really life, and how the tears came in a way to me when I, you know, I could watch soccer. In America, and I hear you'll never walk alone. I just thought this is very, very, very special. Moving on to the next season, the 05 06. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, Barcelona that might be worth watching. Um, 
Yeah, I missed the group stage of the 0405. I know there was Milan Barcelona was in there. That might have been interesting. I have, I have to say that the um, group stage in that season, there was were not that many great uh, matchups except Liverpool and Chelsea meeting again, but even worse than uh, before. Other than that, nothing really all that outstanding. I frankly have to say. So we have to look at the knockout stages. Um, I don't know, Werder Juventus seems like something that uh, could be great. I know that the Bayern Milan matchups were uh, interesting. That was an interesting one. Um, Chelsea Barcelona, that really, really started to heat things up. Um, so, yeah, th there are a few matchups that you will that will keep popping up. This is Liverpool Chelsea and Chelsea Barcelona uh, that are absolutely almost everywhere. Um, I have to say then, when I look at the uh, further stages there, um, I don't think, I mean, I know that Arsenal via Real, well, or the return like via Real Arsenal in the semis was not all, was kind of dramatic. Um, but I think that most of the great games were in the um, round of 16. And I think Chelsea Barcelona takes it one. I think the Arsenal Barcelona final is an underrated one because there was a lot of drama there that might well be exploring if you like. I think that was not a bad final overall. Um, I see also around the Ajax Inter sounds like something that could be of interest to you. Now, to my if I had to pick one season out of that bunch we're gonna pick the 06 or 07 season for me personally uh let's see i know i'm giving away too much with saying that again chelsea barcelona meeting here in the group stage so that's a big one kind of a little bit of a preview here for um <laughs> some final that came later between bayern and inter in group c with liverpool psv uh two semifinals finals from the season before and then roma also started a little bit their campaign here but again there is not a great group nothing really that exciting so we go straight to the knockout stage um round of 16 real madrid bayern i think both legs are worth your time um Barcelona Liverpool I think also both legs definitely worth your time in the quarters if you want to see many goals uh, watch Roma Manchester United I, I think this is such a crazy uh, matchup that I think it's really worth worth watching but to me the one that sticks out is Milan Bayern especially the return leg I remember the first leg was a little bit gutted for that one, but the uh, return leg, that was uh, a really, really good game. Then continuing with Manchester United and Milan in the semifinals, and I think the game of the tournament was the first leg between United and Milan. Uh, great soccer, absolutely great, great soccer. It's a game that I remember fondly. Uh, the return leg was a whole lot more one-sided, but it was an absolute power performance. And then, yeah. I can watch the final all the time, but I know it was not as great of a final as you would, would expect. I also think that the semi-final between Chelsea and Liverpool was also not all that great again. But again, Chelsea and Liverpool meeting. Uh, this is, there's a common thread there. Uh, in the 07-08 season, let's go in there. Let's look again at the group stage. I think again, nothing really to talk about about uh, Manchester United Roma once again but uh, by far not as exciting so we can go straight but really straight to the uh, bracket uh, a little bit surprising was Roma Real Madrid I think both legs are kind of sound and the Roma Real Madrid they have been meeting all through the 2000s that's a matchup that happens more often than you might think um, I'm looking here, not really something else in the uh, knockout stages. So let's go to the um, quarterfinals where I think Arsenal Liverpool, especially the return like Liverpool Arsenal, is one to watch. And then we have um, 
semi-finals. <laughs> I think again the semi-final between Liverpool and Chelsea <laughs> return like this time. Uh, you should watch and I if I had to pick one I think the final is an underrated classic. Uh, it is a final that's a little bit near and dear to my heart because of the penalty shoot or the end. This is one of the craziest ones. Um, if you, yeah, now took away, but if you watch that one, um, definitely see where people are aiming to and how goalkeepers are reacting to that. That's a great one to watch. I think the final itself was a t totally underrated one, took many twists and turns along the way. Um, but then proper with my second favorite season in this bunch of five, although I have to say the 04 or 05 season final, final side was a really nice one. Um, again, uh, Milan was not in that one. This, this was probably the biggest blow there, but you know, this was the whole Angelotti era was coming to an end. Um, we have Roma Chelsea matchups in the group stage. Uh, that sounds like something of interest other than that, other than that, you were Real Madrid big, but you know, I don't think it was that great. I think again, it's all about the knockout stages. Um, where to start? I think that uh, Chelsea, Juventus and um, Liverpool, Real Madrid are two interesting matchups. Um, then we had uh, Arsenal, Roma, also uh, a good one. Um, I remember the return at uh, the Inter Manchester United uh, one rather underwhelming. Uh, it, 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 this was billed as the big, big, big uh, one and it was rather underwhelming. I, I remember that one. But in the quarterfinals, watch Barcelona by Munich first leg. Um, I think that's a great one. And then again, and now this is the real one, Liverpool Chelsea. I think the pick of the bunch is uh, the return leg at Stamford Bridge. Great, great drama. But I think you also need to watch at least, at least the uh, first leg, uh, some highlights to get the whole backstory there. Um, the second best game is pro probably the return leg uh, of the semi-final of Barcelona Chelsea. Um, Incredible, incredible game. Uh, not always for the right reasons, though. Uh, the other semi-final was a more dour affair, fairly one-sided. And the final, although I, I remember this build, this was really, everyone agreed these are the two strongest teams in the world that are meeting in the final, the two biggest stars. And I have to say the game, after 10, 15 minutes, it was more or less clear in what direction it will be going. Well, these are my suggestions for those five seasons. Let me know what you think. Which game, uh, if I missed any, any any games that are worth watching, as I said, I'm doing this a little bit from memory and um, just reading up a little bit about it. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.